That thing's so cool looking. This little guy right here, what's this called, Bert? That's a Leica P40 laser scanner. All right, so we've got this laser scanner set up. We've got targets on our windows over there, on the floor, around the, the room. And we are scanning this room and the Wilga. Why we're doing that is we've got the new engine on the front and we've got the disc ring on the front of the engine that's representing the new location of the prop. And we need to make a new cowling. So we're scanning the, the Wilga for two reasons. One, I need to design a new cowling. And two, I need to design my new wing leading edge I'm gonna build. We're gonna add 55 square feet of wing to this aircraft. So we're scanning the end of the wing, the ribs on the wing, the slat on the wing, the top of the wing, so I can make a new airfoil shape to the front of the wing, move the slat forward, and add a lot, of, a lot more square footage. So today we're scanning the Wilga, and then we're gonna scan turbulence, in case I can find a way to put that in and find a few more knots. So we're actually gonna scan the Wilga, uh, turbulence, and then we're gonna put it in fluid dynamics as it's built today and try it at different air speeds and see what the air is doing as it is with the new shape rather than theoretical. So once we get that done, if I can find an area to tweak the shape of turbulence, I might be making some mods on that after the Wilg is done. So we're scanning two planes today. I'm really excited and uh, it'll be fun to see it on the computer when they're all done. All right, while we're crunching the computer and getting the laser scan inputted, there's hours of work to get that ready, so I'm going to go work on my control stick. We're going to get it uh, trimmed. It's got a rounded loop handle now. I want to put a stick on it that's got all the buttons and controls for the new trim servos, for the autopilot disconnect, push to talk. This aircraft has never had aileron trim, rudder trim, and its elevator trim has been done with an old style turn dial. It's a lot of weight, a lot of maintenance. So I'm going to go put a new control stick in and weld that up and get a new uh, handle on it. By the time that's done, hopefully we'll be ready to show you what we've got on the computer. <laughs> All right. So I've got my new control grip handle. This is a Ray Allen grip. Um, I actually really like their trim servos and uh, their hand grips. So I've got my trim here, up, down, right, left, autopilot disconnect, um, and my aileron trim on it. This plane's never had trim. It's had bend tabs on the aileron and the rudder, um, which this plane really needs trim on it. And uh, the elevator was a big turn dial. And so I'm changing everything out to powered units. So everything's going Ray Allen. I've got to build hinges and controls on everything. This is my new control stick that used to have a loop right here. I'm just making this part. This will weld up. You can see it fits right here wire pass-through holes there lots of meat to get it welded up so that will go there this will slide on here and uh, i've got a, mo a modern stick so this will be nice to get done it's been a it's actually been a pretty fast project i'm about done with it all right so what we got going on today is Three guys way smarter than me doing computer things that makes me want to blow my brains out. <laughs> so I'm glad to have them here. So on this screen right here, this is a 3D scan of turbulence with millions of points. And uh, we can actually take that and cut it up into slices. Take the plane, cut it up, turn it, and look at any profile of the aircraft. We can also take it and put it into a fluid dynamics or aviation software and then put it through the air at 300 knots, 400 knots. I can dream 500 knots. <laughs> It'll never go that fast, but we can play with the wind and see what's happening with the aircraft at various speeds. What's nice is it's as I have built my airplane. It's not trying to interpolate what it was when it was originally mostly legacy, but what it is today. So that's what this screen's doing. We also, on this screen over here, you can see the Wilga. It now has a turbine engine on the front. You can see we can rotate it around. 
This is so that we can now design a cowling and check its aerodynamics, build its intake system, build its NACA scoops, um, install the oil coolers and map it all out. And then this computer, we're just getting turned on right now, this computer is where we run the SolidWorks files. This is where we build all the different parts. So once we get it out of scan, we convert it, we can put it into SolidWorks. Now we have a working model, and this we use to design the new wings for the wheel guy. So I've got the ribs scanned in, I have the profile, the leading edge slap, the flaps, the entire aircraft within thousandths of an inch accuracy. And now I can build new ribs, a new front end, change the airfoil on the computer, and then machine my parts to be perfect. So there will be no guesswork on the adaptions of the wings, all the modifications on the Wilga, and depending on how the wind flow works on turbulence, what that's going to look like uh, if I decide to make a new tail section or adjust turbulence somehow. So I got both of my favorite planes up here, my race plane turbulence, my wheel get back country, and uh, it takes a lot of horse, computer horsepower and a lot of smart guys. <laughs> I'm it all together and uh, make both these planes a little bit better. So I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> Here's our 3D scan of the Wilga, the engine mounted. There's our PT6 powerhouse, fire breathing dragon engine right there. Spin it around the front there. This is the Wilga cowling. 3D scanned. <laughs>